my name is Lizzie. I'm going to show you how to fold your own what looks like DNA, so this lovely helix shape. So this is to follow on from fold a virus. So hopefully you may have made something that looks like this. At the moment, your virus could not be transmitted because if I gave this to you and you hadn't seen the video, you wouldn't know how to make another. So if you wanted to send this virus to somebody else, this origami virus, then you'd need to send instructions as well to make the spikes. So viruses always have some kind of genetic information inside them. It can be either DNA or RNA. So RNA is, is similar to DNA. It's a sort of copy of it. So I thought it'd be really fun if you could take the instructions for folding these spikes and fold it up into a DNA looking like helix. So you may already, hopefully, you may have this sheet which has a strip. So this is showing how you folded the spike and what we'll do is we'll cut it out and I will show you how to fold it. It's a really simple principle. Now if you haven't, if, if you haven't got a printer, I will show you how to do this as well from just any piece of paper. So first of all, I will show you with these instructions. Grab yourself something to press on and I'm just going to cut this out first of all. Here we go. I'm hoping that these activities will help you learn science, whatever your age, find the beauty and magic in how extraordinary our body is and how scientists are learning and finding out more pathologists those people who study disease and how that hope how that science brings us hope for vaccines to protect us which is all about actually how your own body works there we go so i'm cutting out this strip and if i was wanting to give my virus to somebody else to make their viruses then i would need to include these instructions for making those spikes. So I wonder what we can see in the background. I have drawn, I've drawn all of these things. There's little tiny marks. So there's sort of lines along here that go vertically. And then there's also diagonal lines. And that will give the sort of turn of the helix. So how to do this? It's quite a simple principle actually. It's quite a fun thing to do. Again, it's engineering. So every time I have drawn the horizontal as if they're valley folds, they go in. So all I'm doing is every time you see the horizontal, just fold it over like so. And the same with the next one. I can see a little mark there. So I'm folding that. You'll also find as you fold it, it sort of matches up. Really nice one for concentration. You'll end up with something rather lovely at the end of it. I can see the next little marks there. So what to do if you haven't got a printer? I can show you as well because it's more of a principle. I'm keen to show you ideas which is also what science is about. Encouraging you to think and understand. There we go. Right, I would keep going. There we go. Hope this is working for you. So each time I'm just folding down. Be nice and exact. And actually you can see I am lining up along those other little marks. You'll see as you do it. I think with anything like this, it's only by doing it yourself that you'll start to understand. There's quite a few marks, aren't there? I think I'll just show you a few and stop there. So I've done all these little little uh, folds inwards. Now to do it, to, to start adding the turn, there's these diagonal lines. And what you want to do is go the opposite way. So these have all gone inwards, these are valley. Now you want to go the other way, which is called a mountain fold, because it sticks up like a mountain. But you don't need these words at all. What I'm doing is I'm going to go from the points there up to here as a diagonal. So I'm folding back, being really exact. Take your time. 
and I'm going to do that now for the next little segment it's like a little segment and it's the same direction so basically you're doing the same thing each time I'm thinking about obviously DNA so SARS-CoV-2 happens to be a, an RNA virus a different type of virus and so can you see so each time I'm going through each of these little segments and I'm matching up that corner to that corner. It's basically just doing the same thing each time. Hopefully you'll find this really rather relaxing. Okay, this corner to this corner. And if I show you just how to gather up the top bit and the idea is obviously you continue, you can do that. So at the moment, we've gone from those little, a bit hard for you to see, isn't it? But there's, these go in and these go up. So I can start to just gather them up. I am purely pushing them down naturally to the direction of those folds and it will start to come together into this lovely shape. So all I'm doing is following the same lines that I've done and it will begin to bring it into a lovely circular shape. And can you see this is beginning to form that helix shape. And if you continue to do the same thing throughout there, you will end up with something like this. Now, if you haven't got a printer, that's absolutely fine. In fact, it's rather good because you can start to appreciate how to do this yourself. So I will just show you with a strip of paper I have here how you can do this. So if you simply fold it in half, you're, you're trying to make lots of little slats. I would actually, I think I should do it maybe half the width here so we could do a really nice long helix so make yourself a little strip there's not a right or wrong as to the length or width i'm only going to do part of this but you could keep going see how long you could make one this is just a scrap of paper so i'm going to fold it in half it's just dividing up equally really so it's like you're making a little ladder first of all here we go so i've just made a halfway line and then i'm going to make another halfway line and you could be doing this at home too or wherever it is you are that's right and i'm just dividing up and just being really exact that's it really so that's almost the ladders those horizontal lines um, again I'm going to fold that I won't do the whole lot it'll be a very long video but it's for you to discover in your own hands um, I think I'll definitely do them again in half like so and this one I'm halving again just so they're equal so keep going through there Oh, once you get started it's hard to stop in a very nice way you'll find yourself making a dna helix from everything so just to show you this top section so each one of these have gone inwards and next i'm going to take each is like a little segment and folding back from one corner to the other corner so it's a diagonal and all you're doing is exactly the same thing on each of these little bits ladders each of the rungs of your ladder I suppose so can you see I've done the diagonal and I'm going to do the same thing in the same direction that's it little piece of engineering and you will find it sort of gets easier there we go I'm going to do the same thing there to there and as I showed you on the one that was a printed out one you will be able to then just gather up along the lines that you've made so i'm just pushing that down that's her mountain and that's going in it's going out and it's going in and so on and you'll find you'll it's becoming like a nice little circle and as you let go it starts to form that lovely helix shape so i hope i hope you've managed to do that i hope you'll enjoy it hours of fun you can make your own sort of helix like structure your own genetic information and that's what's needed for the virus to be transmitted I hope that's been fun. Thank you.